working. We keep failing. Keep the team unified, and you shall always succeed. Here we go! Cowabunga! Let's light him up. Go, go, go! So it's great to have you down here um, to promote the release of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows. Thank you. Um, I had the pleasure of viewing it the other day, and um, it's... It's so great. Um, how did you pull out all the stops and raise the stakes for the second film? Well, I think that the first part is recognizing maybe some of the mistakes or the things that we wanted to do better than the first mm -hmm. film. And, uh, you know, a couple of things come to mind. One is that we wanted this movie to be funnier than the first film. We wanted it to feel more engaging for a, full f for a whole family mm -hmm. to come and see that together. Uh, I think our main motto from the first day till the movie gets released is we want people to smile from the second they sit yeah. down till when the movie's over. Mm -hmm. um, so that raises it up. I think that... Um, you know, one, one thing that is my own personal um, issue was that I felt like that action sequence in the first film, did you see the first film? Yes, I did. Okay, film. the yeah. snow sequence in the first film mm -hmm. was a great sequence, but it didn't feel as real to me as I yeah. would have liked. And we did, they've, got a, they've got a plane sequence in this film when they jump out, and I, I feel like that was a great standout. Well, right, yeah. and so that was so we did that first sequence, but we didn't we didn't shoot plates or we didn't have a real mountain, so mm -hmm. that was all created in in a computer. But the second sequence, we shot plates, and we so what you have is you have those the real river and the real sky with an airplane in it, and then you're putting turtles into that, and it feels more real to me, yeah. and that is another way that I felt like we raised the stakes by learning from some of the things we didn't do as well in the first movie. Awesome. Um, so what were some of the things also that you got to do in this film that you learnt off the first film and brought it into this and was like, wow, this is really picking up now. Um, it's all for the whole family. Um, we need to make it bigger and better. Um, well, another thing that we, I think another thing is that we, in the first film, like the Foot Clan had guns, mm -hmm. and in this movie they have swords, so yeah. we were trying to move away from something that would have a parent say, you can't bring your kid to this. Yeah. I mean, after all, the goal is for the parents to enjoy it as much as the kids. Um, and then the integration of the other, of the new bad guys. I yeah. mean, Baxter Stockman and Krang and yeah. Bebop and Rocksteady. I mean, mm -hmm. that's a whole other thing. So talking about them as well, um, who out of the three of them was the most hardest to bring to life on screen? Oh, I'm pretty sure, sure it was Krang. Krang, yeah. Krang, Krang was really hard. And Krang didn't come together till about a w month ago, really. Wow. I mean, it was, you know, Bay, Michael, my partner Michael Bay mm -hmm. was very helpful in creating Krang. It felt like we kept coming up with designs and the designs were either they weren't right or they weren't disgusting enough or they weren't funny enough or whatever it was. And Michael really took an interest in seeing to it that that character was really kind of what it is. Yeah. And, and, and I'm, I'm very proud of what it ended up being. Awesome. So I noticed that the turtles got a little bit of an enhancement in this film. Yes. Um, I think I chatted to you about this yesterday. Yes. Um, can you tell us again why it's so important that you have to bring them back just looking so much more kick-ass than the first film? Um, well, you know, the first film, we were just struggling with the notion of what do six foot six talking mm -hmm. turtles look like when they yeah. move? And, you know, in this one, we felt like we figured that out, and I think we wanted to soften their look a little bit. Um, you know, the fans seemed a little bit disappointed with the way they looked a little bit in the first one, and, you know, it, you know we, could, we could change it, so mm -hmm. we didn't want to do anything that drastic, but just little things to make them more accessible. So out of all the turtles, who is your favorite and why? Um, well, I think that in this movie, I love Donnie. I just yeah. think that the, the character is really, he, I love what he does, and he's smart, and, and I, all of his equipment, and the way that he has something for everything. It's like a, a turtle Swiss army knife. Um, so finally, um, what can audiences expect when the turtles come out of the shadows on June 9? There will be a huge fun time for the whole family to have together. Awesome, thank you so much for sure your time. Thing. Sure thing, sure thing. I don't know if this is such a good plan. Don't go getting soft on me now. <laughs> Yes, 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 yes! Ah! Is he coming in kind of fast? Ah! Oh! Ah! Well, that went well. Ow! Sleep to Brooklyn!